Hi, this is Jackie Burns Creations. Okay, we are having a collab called Let's Spring Into Summer. There are some really fantastic ladies doing this, so please check out each channel. Give it a thumbs up and a like. Okay, my number one DIY. I took this mason jar and took off the stars. Of course, you know, this came from Dollar Tree. Just uh, cutting around it. Paper came from Hobby Lobby, I'm sure. After a while, I forget where I get paper from. Could have been Michael's, but I think it was Hobby Lobby. And I'm doing it not because lemons are fad, because I love lemons. Okay, let's slap some Mod Podge on there. Now, this collab is for Father's Day and my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Thank you all very much. Just putting it on the right way. had to add a little extra strip up there because it wasn't quite long enough. Now I've just got my ruler lined up and uh, taking my X-Acto knife or, and uh, cutting that off. Then I will flip it over and trim the sides. Okay, I made this on my Cricut. I'm getting a little better on it. This was in uh, Cricut Studio. And I guess it could be used for a stencil. I liked it just solid like this and let the words just kind of shine through. You know how sometimes people label things when you've got a bunch of drinks? Well, that's what it is. It's a label for a drink. Just peeled the plastic off of that. Now I'm outlining it with a little bit of rope, I think. Uh, well, I know this is some kind of macrame rope I got off uh, Amazon. I'm working on my Amazon studio, so, or my Amazon affiliate, so I'll be listing these things pretty soon. But I get so much stuff off of Amazon. I really need the store. Okay, and I decided to go around the outside of it. Just to give it a little bit of zhush and dimension. We love zhushing things up. And here I am coming to the end of it. Okay, and now I'm going to wrap some of this uh, rope around the top. And where you see that it um, bubbles out the side, I'm going to put rope along there. Just bring it around the back. Because I want to make my top look a little more three-dimensional.
And so I doubled it up around each of the bump out areas. I tried to get it to sit real close to each other. And of course, what's more summer than lemonade? Now I have some plaid folk art. Uh, I think it's metal. Metal. It's a silver, but not a bright, shiny metal. A little more dulled down. So I'm painting the upper half with that. It took a couple of coats, but I painted on the rope really nicely. You can see how nice that's looking already. And here is it all done. I forgot to show you putting the lemon and the um, leaves on there. But I think it came out really cute. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Here we get a more close up of it. And here comes DIY number two. Now this one's just really fast and easy. Had this sign from Dollar Tree and I just loved the blue on there with the white. And it had a scene in the middle, so I just painted it out. Well, I took one of these summer hangers apart and I loved the little pot. And I took uh, some of the flowers off another one. I mean, even, even your kids could do this as long as you let them use hot glue, if they're old enough to use hot glue. But, you know, when you see a sign, think about what else you can do with it. It doesn't always have to be what it is. And that's what us uh, YouTubers do all the time. We are always changing signs up. Like I say, this one's just super easy. And I'm going to add these flowers. And this one's getting a little zhuzh up too with some flowers I got at Michael's on sale. A little pack of flowers. I think they were a couple of bucks. And they're, they're kind of like little paper flowers. That they're cute. Just throw a few in there and you've got a cute little sign. And there it is all done. Let me know what you think about this one too. Okay, get ready for DIY number three. I think this is my favorite because guess what? I love bees. And I go by Jackie B. Now these signs were at, uh, or these frames and these signs were at Dollar Tree. And... They're shaped kind of like a bee cell. So I threw the inner thing away and I kept the mat, very thin mat. So you have to kind of be careful with them. I put a little bit of paper. and I, I would really assume I got this from Hobby Lobby because you can't beat their paper. Okay. 
I just wanted to use something with a little bit of a floral look, but a lighter background. Okay, put it back in the frame without the glass. And I left glass out of the other two. Now I got these little honeycomb bits. I got them from a place called Retro Cafe Art. I'll list them down in my description box. And the stamp is an IOD, Iron Orchid Design. It's a crown for a bee. I used a china blue for the ink. And I just took some glue, regular glue, and put on the back of some of these little honeycomb cells. And I'm just spreading them about. There was a little tiny teensy bee in there, and I just put it up by the crown. Now I'm taking some yellow plaid paint. You know I'm using plaid because I'm a plaid ambassador. You probably get tired of hearing that from everybody, but we love plaid. So I got these bees from Retro Cafe Art. One is 12 inches and one is 10 inches. Or is it 10 and 8? I can't remember. I got them a while ago. But I'm painting in, I painted them black, and then I put the wings on. Now I'm painting the yellow stripes on. It took a lot of coats because yellow is very translucent. It's more translucent than white. So when you're painting with yellow, it takes a lot. So there's probably about five coats on there. But anyway, I am gluing together these B cells using some clamps to hold it in place. I wanted them held in real tight. Now here's my bees after I painted it. Just trying to figure out where I'm going to place it. This is the smaller of the two. Oh yeah, I gotta redecorate the wings. It needs some little veins in there. Just freehanding it with a fine tip sharpie marker. Just doing a little bit of touch up. And I'm doing a little bit of scribbling along the edges because I wanted to make it look like little hairs since that's what they are, is little tiny hairs. Okay, now I'm putting the bees on. Oh, 
when I first put it together, I wasn't sure I was going to put both bees on there or not. But when it comes down to it, then I decided to put both of them on. Now, these are some flowers I got from Michael's that were on sale. And I thought I'd throw a few in there. They're paper flowers, but I think they're really pretty. I'm just kind of scattering them around. I hope everybody's really enjoying this collaboration and everybody I'm sure is doing some wonderful summer projects. Like I say, what doesn't say summer more than laminate and bees? And here it is all finished. I love it. I think it's adorable. Okay, I hope you subscribe to my channel and Give me a nice thumbs up and a like and a comment. And I thank you for coming today. And please go out and spread some kindness. Bye for now.